Hello everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas update video. I would like to thank Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial and all of my patrons for your outstanding support. It really does help make these videos possible. It may be hard to believe, but we're now completing four months of construction at Giga Texas, so it's time for us to take a look back and see how far they've come, and also compare the other Giga factories to see where they were at approximately the same time frame. As you know, 22 July is when Giga Texas was officially announced. And as you can see in the picture, we've come a long way from the July time frame through now. So let's take a look at each month and get a real quick overview. In July, we started with a sand and gravel mine, a lot of terrain that needed to be leveled, a lot of ponds that needed to be drained. And as you can see, it was quite a big project to begin with. By the time we got into August, a lot of the land clearing was well underway. A lot of the ponds were being drained and we even see some portion of a little bit of the foundation starting to emerge in the north. When we get to September, that progress continued and we actually see the outline of the entire foundation. Uh, we see the beginning of the big pit area where the stamping machine foundations are being put in and an expansion of the site clearing uh, to a large area. By the time we got to October, not only was the foundation quite uh, present, but the deep pit was getting its isolation foundations installed and we started to see structure uh, emerge from the ground in the north with that uh, steel structure. And now in November, the big pit has progressed tremendously. Uh, we're seeing huge concrete columns for the bridge cranes being installed and the steel structure is increasing in size. Well, that's all great, but how does Giga Texas progress compare to Giga Shanghai and Berlin at approximately the same time frame? Just as a reminder, Giga Shanghai started out with 213 acres total and about 100 acres was their phase one. By the time they got into the late April time frame, you can see quite a bit of structure was present. A lot of the columns were up and the roof truss structure was also being installed. So quite a bit of progress at that time. For Giga Berlin, as a reminder, it had about 740 total acres, but phase one was about 220 acres of construction. By this time, as you can see in the pictures, the land was essentially cleared and some of the construction was beginning. You can see some road structures, they have some uh, drilling equipment, and also some of that gravel was showing up at the site at that time. For Giga Texas, the total land area now is about 2,518 acres and phase one is about 280 acres, but we're pretty sure they're doing more than just phase one. As you can see uh, from our previous discussion and these pictures, uh, Giga Texas is starting to see some of the structure uh, emerge, a lot of the foundation, but perhaps not quite as much as Shanghai. So I'd like to know what you think. Do you think Giga Shanghai is still in the lead? Do you think Giga Berlin even though they look like they were behind, but now it looks like they're really working hard. Do you think Giga Berlin is in the lead? Or how about Giga Texas? And you can see the uh, progress up to date. So anyway, I hope that this was useful and uh, let me know your comments. Since we just talked about the four month of progress and the comparisons with the other Giga factories, I thought today we'll go ahead and do a uh, overall flight around the entire site and take a look at what it all looks like. And then we'll start off in the southwest area where they're clearing the land. We'll take a look at the bridge area where they're building off ramps and we'll continue all the way around to the east and then the north and then work our way back to the foundation just to give you an overview of where things look now. We'll spend some time in the west smaller foundation to look at all the footings that are being put in. Then we'll take a look at the work around the steel structure and the amount of materials that are being stockpiled. Then we'll fly south along the purple area and take a look at uh, some activity there. And then we'll end up in the big pit area. We'll look at uh, the work on the isolation foundations and then a few other areas around the site. So this will be our four month of progress review and just uh, uh, take a look at the site. And finally, we had a fun event out at Giga Texas today where we brought five different YouTube channels together and that included all four members for the first time of the Quad Squad together. That would be Jack, Randy, myself, and Jeff. And then Doug from Newcomb Finance came out from California and joined us out at the site as well. So it was a great day, and we all had a lot of fun. 
Okay, my drones are fully charged and they are ready. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas.